Welcome to Plowman's Backyard. My name is Kendra. My name is Jason. Today we are talking just a little bit about dogs. dogs. So on the homestead, people tend to have dogs, whether it's for livestock purposes, family pets, keeping predators or unwanted people off the property. There's lots of reason to have dogs. Um, we have found that we quite enjoy having our dog around. Just having him around actually keeps a lot of the predators away. Um, he does sometimes keep an eye on the chickens and sometimes people use dogs for um, herding, whether they're flock guardians or collies. We actually have a yellow lab named Dougie and he's been really great to have. Mm -hmm. He's great with children. He is a lot of fun. He loves to play, loves to run. Some of our issues that we do have with him is that, and most people have that have dogs know this, is that sometimes they like to run. Yeah, he picks up any type of scent and if you're not paying attention, he's Gone. Gone. It's nice to have him out and around and we love having him just running around the property. He keeps a great eye on our daughter. Um, they spend a lot of time together. Like I said, he's a he's really a, good companionship a to good our, family do or our daughter as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we love him. Yeah, he's just all around a good dog, but he has that one issue of leaving the property. So if you're going out like me, I'll take him out with me if I'm in the garden or doing something with the chickens. And he's like literally beside my hip. He is like, he's right there. If you're walking, he wants to be like right next to you. But as soon as you get into doing a task, um, whether it's gardening or feeding the chickens or going to the barn for a second, he is like split. Or just being gone. in your vehicle. Like uh, it was two weeks ago. I was just in the back trunk, just taking something out. And all of a sudden he wasn't around. He watches <laughs> when you're not looking and he goes. But um, like I said, they have great noses and great scents. And he is basically, he's driven. Once he gets that scent, you can't turn him around. He may look at you, but he will ignore you. Oh, he gives you that look where you're you like, know he's, he's, he's going. He, yeah, he does. If you're out there looking at him, you're like, Doug. And he looks at you and you're like, yeah, you don't come back. <laughs> and he's fast. He's yeah. very fast. <laughs> we thought maybe we should call him Houdini because at one time we tried to have him in the barn. We tried to have him on a chain and it didn't matter what we did. We couldn't keep him in. Yeah. Yeah. So, and that's another thing. When you have animals on the homestead, like um, dogs or things like that, you don't want them chained up. You don't want, like we don't really like having our chickens cooped up in a fence. Mm -hmm. um, and we definitely don't want to have our dog chained up. We want him to live freely and um, enjoy life. I mean, we live in the country, we, he may as well enjoy it too. Yeah. So that brings us to our next thing. And that is we've got this little package in the mail and that's what we're going to talk about today. So we received in the mail um, something that we have been waiting for. It is actually a GPS collar from Spot On. Basically, it is a way that we have been talking about how can we keep Doug on our property? Because that's one thing we don't want to do and we don't want to have him leashed. So this is a product we're very excited about. We have been told that it works for any dog basically active dogs, whether it's flock guardians, collies, you name it. We've been told that this is a great product. So we have actually teamed up with Spot On GPS fencing. So we're gonna open it. We're gonna show you what it is. It's super cool. So if you have a dog like Doug that likes to wander I'm going to say stick around for this because there, the great thing about this is there's no hardware to set up and there's no hardware to maintain, which sounds pretty great. Yeah, and it's very in inexpensive if you compare it to uh, those in-ground uh, fences and stuff yeah. or even just building fences. That's right. So, yeah. Yeah, so let's see what's in here. Yeah. Mm. That's what the box will look like. Let's see what's inside. So basically this GPS collar allows your dog to run freely on your property without having to set up any hardware. So basically you can set up your boundaries for your property. It says that the property size, it's best to be about a half an acre to a thousand plus acres to use this device on your dog. So basically what you're gonna do is you can use the app on your phone or device, or you can walk your property and set up the boundaries for your dog. And so as your dog goes up to, like your dog's gonna need to wear the collar, but as your dog goes up to those boundary points, um, it's gonna set off um, two different tones to let the dog know um, where to go and where not to go. And if needed, there is a static correction um, that will let your dog know when it's at its boundary so that it won't cross it. Wow. That's pretty cool. Yeah, look at that. 
This is pretty neat. Yeah, so it comes with the user guide here. In the fancy dog collar. <laughs> Charger for your collar. Just all the little gadgets and prongs for the uh, static correction. I'm so excited about this. It'd be great to have Doug out running without having to worry about where he's going. Mm -hmm. So that's a charger, um, kind of like a charger case or a, a stand. You just set it in place like that. There's the charging port there for the back of it. I think it could be mounted onto something, right? Uh, it looks it, doesn't, like it doesn't really look like it because mm -hmm. Okay. But it only takes, I think, when I was doing some research, it only takes about an hour wow. or so to charge. I'm going to just clarify just to make sure here. All right, so what else is there? So it looks like there's a wall uh, adapter or, or uh, yeah, a wall adapter for charging your unit. These are the, for the static, um, uh. the static... Correction. Correct. The, sta the static correction, yeah. And then this is the tool to be able to tighten and loosen. And possibly, yeah, and you can also even see if it's working or if it's fully char or charged enough that there's contact as well. Now we've had some similar to this. Um, cheaper version. Cheaper version, um, but instead of uh, using the phone, it had remotes. Some of that didn't work uh, due to the fact that we just didn't, I, I don't think we gave it enough time, but also it's just so... You had to know where he was. You had to was. know where he was to, so in order to work. The, the thing about this is with the virtual fence is that it's going to let him know when he reaches his boundary. So with um, the cheaper version that we tried with the remote, we had to know if he, w we had to be watching him to see where he was going to push the remote to correct him. So this is doing all that job and you don't even have to be home for this to be working. You know, the other neat thing about this is when you're doing your boundary for that, you want your dog to be able to run freely on your property, you can actually have keep out zones. So say if maybe your dog isn't great with chickens, you could have a keep out area surrounding your chickens that he can't get to within his own um, boundary where he's allowed to run. So another great feature about spot on is that you know, if you have multiple places, maybe you have a cottage, maybe you like to go camping, maybe you have a dog sitter that your dog goes to a certain spot. Uh, this GPS collar can actually hold up to 20 different destinations of saved um, boundaries for your dog. So you can take it anywhere, even if you're into hunting or anything like that, 20 settings for your dog that are saved on that device so you can take them anywhere. Yeah, so the nice thing about being able to take them anywhere is that you're able to save those spots and you don't necessarily have to walk the perimeter. You can always basically draw the square or the lines on your phone to make those boundaries. So especially for me when I want to go camping mm. and possibly taking the Dougie with us, like I think that's going to be awesome to be able to do, especially living out in the country. There's bears, there's all sorts of other animals around. And so he'll be able to uh, help uh, let me know if there's anything around. So. Yeah, dogs are great to have around, mm -hmm. whether you know you are in the city or not. But you do want to make sure that at least you have a minimum of a half an acre to be able to use this collar. One feature that I think you'll love about this is say, for instance, Doug is Doug and he gets out because that happens. We don't know if it's going to happen with this. We're pretty sure that it's not. We've been told that this has been used for dogs way more active than Doug. So I'm got to, I'm optimistic that this is going to I work. I think it's going to work. Yes. Yeah. So the great thing about this though, if you ran into an issue where he had went past his boundary or he ignored the static correction, you can actually pinpoint where he is anywhere off your property if he's ran by using your phone you'll get notifications that he's left the property you can also with an optional um, cell sim card it can track him using the gps so you can actually pinpoint where he is and go and get your dog which mm -hmm. i think is pretty awesome so say you're not home you're in town getting groceries and your dog's just out because you don't have to worry about your dog because you have the virtual fence so you can go anywhere and your dog can run free but hey you get a beep you're at the cash you're like the dog's been out and it's going to tell you where your dog is and that's 
there's some assurance that at least you know where your dog is at all times. Mm -hmm. And not only it's to keep your dog in, but it's to keep your dog safe. I mean, one of the things that I always worry about in the winter, because he likes to run any time of the year, is like, oh no, like he's a yellow lab. So he has, he's kind of whitish looking. I'm always worried like a like bow's going to get him or something. So it's not just about like letting your dog live unleashed, but it's keeping him safe. So he's safest around your home and your property. And I, I am super excited about trying this. So I can't wait to put it on him and see how he's going to like it. It mm -hmm. might take a bit of adjusting, but I think he'll do just fine. The next thing we're going to be doing, and I encourage you to watch the next video on this, is we are going to be showing you how this works. We're going to try and set it up on Doug, see his reaction. Then we're going to go and we're going to figure out the parameter on where we want our boundaries to be. So we're going to go through with you. We're going to take you step by step on how this works and even to the point of we're going to give updates regularly on how this is working with Doug, the training that it's going to take. It's not a lot of training, but you do need to have some training. Um, just making sure that he is getting those different tones, um, static correction if needed. And we're going to take you through all that mm -hmm. so you can see how good this product actually is. I think it's going to be great for uh, your garden as well. Um, he loves being with uh, Kendra and Hannah when oh, they're yeah. in the garden. And he's pretty good with staying on the paths. But the odd time he'll end up going into yeah, an area like, where you may not want him. Say you have a spot, like I said with the chickens. If your dog's not good with chickens, there's a keep out zone. You mm -hmm. can have a different keep out zone. You can have your garden a keep out zone. You know, like maybe you've got a pool. You want to keep them out of that. I mean, it's limitless. Yeah, and so with the boundaries as well, you can go through uh, water or other terrains. Uh, all you do is you just draw it on, on the map on your phone and it's there's a virtual fence right there so yeah so what does the user guide look like it has just different pages on how you set up your first time setups and then all sorts of other tips and features which we will go through in another uh, video on, on when we go to it set up. it up yeah yeah Okay. Well, I am excited about this. I think it's super cool. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so if you have a dog on the homestead or if you just have a dog and you're looking for an option, this is a great option because we really didn't want to have to get into putting up fences and we don't want to have our dog chained up. So I think spot on is going to work for us. So the neat thing about this is it doesn't take long to be able to adjust. Dougie's neck is approximately 18-ish. That's another thing when you go to purchase this product. You want to make sure that you measure your dog's neck. Yeah, so it. this one here is the largest one. So it goes anywhere from, I believe, 17 to 26 inches, I think. And then the medium uh, and small are different sizes as well. So you want to make sure before you purchase this type of product to measure the neck uh, size of your dog. If you are interested in purchasing this product from uh, Spot On Fence, we do have a code or a link down below, which uh, we will put into the description and it'll help you save uh, some money off of it. So we just want to thank Spot On for um, including us yes, in this thank you great so product and sending it to us. And we can't wait to get started and seeing how it works with Doug. Yeah.